And here we are, having gouache plain air talk. So I went on two days trip with my parents and a cat apparently, and guess it will be an awesome opportunity to test my outdoor gouache skills. Expectingly, it is harder than watercolor for me, and I needed to take more stuff, I mean, in terms of supplies. But let's start with the condition I was dealing with. First day was straight up perfect, almost no wind, warm but not too hot, bright but soft light. But for the future I will bring something to cover my head from the sun. Overall I picked nice time of the day and direction, so sun didn't bother me at all. I was sitting on the ground because I was just enjoying that perspective more. And in the end it resulted in stiff legs for some time after. So for that I do need a watch to track time and stand up from time to time if I'm sitting on the ground. So yeah, if the first day I was drawing my hands off, on the second day it hit me hard. It was really windy and cold. There was a thunder, so most of the time I babysitted my cat instead of drawing. And being tired out by wind, it actually didn't felt like doing anything. I managed a little setup of cup and pine branches and cones in front of me, because it was hard to look on distant objects. And all I managed in the end was a 30 minute sketch while the wind kept blowing stuff off. As for the art supplies, I used both bigger and a smaller bottle of water and found no actual difference as I got rid of the paint mostly with clothes and needed water just to re-wet brush or paints. By the way, gouache paint and painting does dry super fast outdoor. Pros that you don't need for it to dry that long before the next layer. Con of it's drying too fast that you need to constantly re-wet them all the time and think harder if you want gradient or thick wash. For the brushes, the best ones for me are round flat and pointy flat, but I really want to buy just flat one and try out that one. I also took the brush to do the basic watercolor layer before gouache and the one that was a simply round pointy brush to do the details just in case. I also took with me HB pencil, some binder clips and pre-taped sketchbook pages to get nice borders after. And also the clothes to clean the brush from the paint. For the palette I was using metal box that I squished paints inside. Yeah, so the hardest part for me was actually choosing what to draw because everything was so beautiful and worth spending time on, but unfortunately I couldn't draw everything. My palette included warm and cold primary colors, so it's cool and warm yellow, red and blue. Once again, it's cool and warm yellow paint, red paint, blue paint, so two paints of those colors. Obviously I took the white paint with me as it is most used paint probably and also black and yellow ochre which I didn't use that much but found comforting to actually have them just in case. I painted on the small A6 sketchbook and for now it is the best size for me. I still want I still draw slow and uh, it would have took me probably a whole day to do one a5 picture i don't know i need to try drawing on the bigger surface but anyway yeah right now i use a6 sketchbook canson anyway with gouache i feel like i learn more about the color than with any other media and the reason for this i guess that it is way harder because i get more of it <laughs> you understand yeah, but if you don't have much time and would rather have finished piece, watercolors are the way to go. I hope it was informative, but if you have questions, just leave them below. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't waste beautiful days in four walls. You will have all fall winters for it. So get out and draw stuff, do stuff. Take care and carry on.